Hey Pokemon Masters, Berkey Viterbi here with three quick announcements before the video starts. Number one, this video was intended for April Fool's Day, it is known as a Jokemon theory, so enjoy. Number two, join me on the 23rd of April, it's a Tuesday at 6pm BST. It is my birthday live stream over on Twitch, links to that of course are below, I'll be doing some giveaways. And number three, I have worked with Displate before as an affiliate and as a sponsorship, and every time you buy Displate through the link in the description, it helps me out. And right now, for Easter, we have a 30% off sale. You can get yourself some new disc plates to take down the old ones. Plonk them on. They're just that convenient. Thanks for helping out the channel and enjoy the video. This video couldn't happen without those you supporting me on Patreon, including the big patrons of this month, The Nerd Therapist and Xavius. Hey, Pokemon Masters, Berkey Toby here, and I am so sorry it's taken me so long to get to this topic. I know, people have been requesting this non-stop, and I've been so busy with Detective Pikachu and Pokemon Sword and Shield that I have neglected to, to even remotely cover this topic. The trailer for the new season of the Pokemon anime came out months ago, and with it we saw Misty is returning to the Alola region. And this is big because it means we can deep dive into one of the biggest Pokemon theories of all time. Did Misty and Tracy finally get together? In season one of the Pokemon anime, Tracy wasn't around. Misty meets the character of Ash Ketchum and his Pikachu electrifies Misty's bike. Despite the fact that Pikachu did it, Ash Ketchum gets a lot of the blame. Pikachu is such a jerk. However, this snaky move by Ash's Pokemon allows Ash and Misty to bond in a that particular way, the classic boy meets girl scenario and they don't get on. They can't get on because she doesn't like bug Pokemon and he's a icky icky boy. It's reminiscent of those feelings that I had on the playground when I was but a lad. Was this mutual hate friendship the, the hint and the foreshadowing towards some kind of budding romance between the two? Probably not, they're both 10. In season two, it wouldn't matter because we are introduced to the treacherous Tracy Sketch It. Yeah, sketchy Trace It more like, well he's sketch, he's sketchy, he's a sketchy guy. He shows up and is determined to throw a wrench into the works here. In the second Pokemon movie, we meet Melody. Melody is a total heartthrob and way cooler than anyone you know, and her and Misty are having a conversation about boyfriends. Misty is arguing, saying that Ash isn't in fact her boyfriend, and Tracy's ears prick up, and despite the post-apocalyptic scenario going on around them, he needs to know if they're talking about him. However, perhaps the feelings here aren't mutual. After all, in one of the episodes of the anime arc, Misty seems to get annoyed when Tracy is sketching a beautiful woman. Could this be jealousy in disguise? Tracy leaves the show to work with his other Pokemon crush, the Pokemon researcher Professor Oak. And there's some parallels here between Tracy and Ash's characters. They're both fanboys. Tracy loves Professor Oak more than he seems to love Misty, thus leaving her, and Ash himself seems to love Pokemon more than anything in the world. In interviews with Veronica Taylor, the voice actress for Ash Ketchum, she said that Ash's true love is Pokemon, and this is stopping him from connecting with others romantically. I can relate. This is why at the end of the Johto arc, Misty returns to the Cerulean Gym. She could easily keep traveling with Ash, but she doesn't. She realizes he's a lost cause. We do, however, find out about her antics at the Cerulean Gym in the Pokemon Chronicle side series. There's a good few episodes here revolving around Misty and Tracy and the Cerulean Gym. In the first one, Misty is having troubles getting Psyduck to learn how to swim. Tracy shows up at the gym and is very quick to take his shirt off and jump in the pool. However, when Sakura arrives, Misty wants to do other things and Tracy gets back out of the pool and decides to follow Misty around all day, helping her with the things that she needs to get done. In another episode, Professor Oak needs Pokemon food taken to the the Cerulean Gym, and Tracy offers to go in his place. He's just such a nice guy. When there, the character of Casey shows up and asks if Tracy is Misty's boyfriend. Misty seems confused as to why this is always the conclusion that people come to. We don't get to linger on this sentiment for too long. The writers cleverly put in a plot device here to distract us. A letter from a secret admirer for Misty. Misty feels scared about meeting the secret admirer alone and begs Tracy to go with her. However, something peculiar happens here. One of Misty's sisters, Daisy, shows up and says that no, Tracy should stay at the gym with her. What exactly is Daisy's game plan here? He stays behind and cleans the pool. Tracy and Misty hang out on one more occasion and this time Daisy is there yet again. In an episode all about Love Disc, the love Pokemon, the moment that Tracy steps through the doors of the gym, Daisy calls him cute and is excited to meet him. Daisy says he has to see the love Pokemon, Love Disc. Daisy, what are you doing, girl? The whole episode is jam-packed with subtext about love, and Daisy and Tracy grow ever closer with Misty just sitting on the sidelines. What's happening here? Is Daisy sniping her sister's love interest? 
While Tracy doesn't reappear after this point, we do get mentions of him. In the Pokemon Advanced Generation, Misty shows up carrying an Azuril, a gift from Tracy, a baby or presumably of Tracy's Marrow. But where is Tracy at this point? If only this Pokemon could talk, that Azuril could give us some much needed answers. And now here we are with the latest season in Alola. Misty is there, Brock is there, but Tracy is not. Is it possible that Tracy in the end got with Daisy and not with Misty? Is the Azuril some kind of consolation prize? I know I prefer a real life Pokemon to a girlfriend. Yeah. These recent revelations have shook us all. This is the Pokemon theory of all Pokemon theories. Will this betrayal cause Misty to spiral or could there be a silver lining here? Now with Tracy out of the way and Misty back in Alola, could her and Ash finally reconnect? Ash has had a recent stint with Romance himself in the Kalos region, where him and Serena sort of maybe possibly kissed, kind of possibly went on a date if you would call it that, and Ash has been 10 for 20 years now, so that makes him like, what, 30? 10 to the power of 20? He's matured, and is it time for him to finally settle down and start a life with Misty and ignore the dreams of catching Pokemon? I should hope not. Let me know what you're thinking about these revelations in the comments below, and thank you to my patrons who support making this high quality content, and of course, so high Pokemon Masters. This is Ash Ketchum. You just watched a video by Bird Keeper Toby. That makes you a Pokemon Master. Love it. I'm so happy.